Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and in today's video I wanted to explore the idea of creating amazing a Christian desk around a black hole using the Alpha 19 of the Universe Sandbox Square and today we're going to try to create this using the game and see if it actually works. Welcome to What The Math. <laughs> So this is actually a simulation called Black Hole and Sun, and if you actually open it up, this is what you'll see. There's a sun, there's a black hole in the middle, uh, the, the sun has a very elliptical orbit, and eventually it sort of creates this really interesting um, beginning of the accretion disk. And then it actually be, is destroyed by the black hole as well. Now I figured we can possibly make this a little bit better by just doing this manually, so let's uh, start with the actual black hole. And this is actually how we think the accretion disks are generated around black holes, by various stars and various objects that pass by too close to the black hole and lose a lot of the material and then the accretion disk is created from them. Now here we're going to slow down time just a little bit and let's just place a bunch of, um, let's go with something smaller, let's, let's place, place a bunch of Proxima Centauri stars around uh, this black hole and make them spin around, orbit around the black hole until they get too big and... okay, and uh, go supernova. Okay, well that's not good, that's not what I want, really wanted. But you can kind of see that we've already sort of created a beginning of a really cool accretion disk right there in the middle. Uh, it's actually quite beautiful, it does seem to do what we needed to do, it basically um, is as sort of realistic as you would expect it to be. Uh, and the supernova, unfortunately, the by, uh, byproduct of two stars colliding with one another. And this is why it's so hard to see what's actually going on there uh, in, in front of the black hole, because suddenly it's actually very, very, very bright. So let's wait for the supernova to recede a little bit so we can actually see what's happening. And unfortunately, it's kind of hard to see, but this is basically what's happening here. There's a really, really cool accretion disk orbiting around this black hole, and it looks like we were able to kind of partially succeed. Let's see if we can do this a little bit better. Let's place a much larger black hole, like for example, Sagittarius A star, and uh, possibly slightly larger stars around it, like for example, Arcturus. And maybe this will actually create something a little bit more realistic. So let's see if this works. I'm going to place them around. And, all right, well, that obviously initiated Supernova yet again. Uh, not exactly how I was planning this, but this time Supernova is actually a little bit farther away from us, and it's sort of moving away from us. Okay, maybe we can do this again if we do this a little bit slower. Here we go. So, as you can see, uh, these stars actually started being uh, degenerated into their constituent parts because of the so-called Roche limit. Um, this is something we'll talk about in one of the future videos, but because this star is so close to the black hole, it's essentially disintegrated into um, into its subparts. So it's, it's taken apart. It's basically broken into little pieces by the uh, gravitational tidal forces of the black hole that's so, so um, close to this particular orbiting star that I'm about to place here. And so there we go. So now this is actually looking a little bit better. This is kind of like a somewhat realistic um, ring that I was trying to create, a Christian disk that I was tr actually trying to create. And so this is one of the ways of doing this, and I think this is maybe the only way I've found so far to create a relatively realistic looking accretion disk, but unfortunately it doesn't actually stay for very long. These particles do cool down, and you can actually click on them and see how fast they cool down right here. And as they cool down, they slowly disappear as well. Now, the original simulation had this a little bit uh, set up a little bit differently. They actually had the star that was orbiting around the black hole with a somewhat eccentric orbit. So let's actually try that as well. We're going to place a few Arcturuses um, around this black hole, and let's actually find out what's going to happen after we uh, release the timer and see what's going on here. And look at that, this is awesome. So this is a slightly different um, uh, accretion disk, but interestingly, this is actually way more realistic because this is how the stars actually pass in front of the black hole. And we actually witnessed this one, one time. We witnessed the uh, star being completely destroyed just like that when it passed um, very, very close to a supermassive black hole. And this is essentially what's left at, and after the, afterwards, and this will then create the accretion disk that is formed around um, the actual black hole. So this is a pretty cool, pretty realistic way of doing it. So let's just try this again, but maybe with something a little bit larger, like Betelgeuse. So let's see what Betelgeuse will create out of all of this. We're going to place it in an eccentric orbit as well, as if it were to approach this particular black hole. And let's actually see what happens to Betelgeuse when it actually gets way, way closer to Sagittarius A star. 
Uh, this is actually a relatively realistic comparison of their size. So this is the size of Sagittarius A star, which is approximately 18 times the radius of our sun. And uh, this giant is about 4.5 astronomical units, which is basically the distance from uh, close to about orbit of Jupiter to our own sun. And so as it passes really, really close, let's hope that it gets disintegrated as well and creates a very, very beautiful looking accretion disk. It's actually approaching a lot faster than I, than I was hoping it would. So let's slow down time a little bit. And here it comes. It's being deconstructed. It's being destroyed and... Okay. Well, I guess it left some sort of a smoky accretion disk. Not exactly what I was looking for. How about if we do it with a slightly brighter star? As a matter of fact, let's actually do different colors. And let's create a very colorful pattern here using a variety of different stars that will hopefully create a very colorful uh, accretion disk for us. So we're going to move, move them away from each other so that they don't actually collide into one another. And let's, uh, let's basically run the simulation. Let's let it go and see what happens. And unfortunately, two of them collided, creating a uh, supernova once again. And I think actually one of them turned into a black hole. I think this is actually a black hole right here. And so anyway, so this is all I wanted to show you in this video. I wanted to recreate a Christian disk uh, using these new really cool additions to Alpha 19 of Universe Box Square. And hopefully you now know how to create a Christian disk and how they're actually made in real life as well. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I appreciate all of your support. Please subscribe if you still haven't. Consider supporting this channel on Patreon. And I'll see you in the next video. Game you later. And as always, bye-bye. And honestly, I can't actually get enough of these new special effects. They look absolutely incredible. Look at the amount of detail that has been added to this game. It is absolutely awesome.